Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the relation between voltage and frequency of a stable multivibrator. That means how the input voltage will change the frequency of oscillations of the stable multivibrator. So here the input voltage we are giving in addition to the supply voltage VCC. Okay, generally that is the only the voltage we give supply voltage VCC is the only voltage we give in the stable multivibrator because a stable multivibrator is a free running oscillator. Okay, it does not need any type of external voltages. Automatically it changes the states due to the involvement of capacitors. So automatically the states are being changed. Quasi stable states, both are quasi stable states. So uh, automatically the frequencies are generated. But how the frequency of operation can be controlled with the help of input voltage. So the uh, relation between the voltage and frequency we are going to calculate here. So that for a specific value of input voltage, the specific frequency, whatever we are expecting to get that we can measure. So if you see this circuit diagram with the help of transistors to design an stable multivibrator, the previous diagram which we have taken as a basic a stable multivibrator is looking like the similar but the main difference between that and this one is here R1 and R2 resistors were directly connected to VCC in the previous circuit but now we have taken a separate voltage like V which is used to control the frequency of oscillations okay so in addition to the supply voltage vcc we have taken additional dc voltage v there where it is separated it is separated for the resistors r1 and r2 so during the transistor on and off conditions suppose if you are taking the capacitor c1 is in charging what is the charging path that the capacitor is doing from vcc through R1, this is the capacitor and through this on transistor. Because the Q2 transistor is in on state, I am saying this capacitor is, is charging. Okay, so as this capacitor is charging and previously as this resistor R1 is connected to VCC, capacitor tries to charge up to a maximum voltage of VCC. But now we have disconnected the R1 from VCC and connected a new voltage V. So in that path the maximum available voltage is v so the capacitor charges up to only v instead of vcc like previous case okay except that remaining everything is common okay so now let us see the calculation part and finding the relation between these two if you see the waveforms already we know these are the waveforms for which the capacitor is charging these two voltage waveforms are calculated from the uh, base of the transistors. See, whatever the capacitance changes are there, those capacitance changes are appeared at the base of the transistor because base is connected directly to the capacitor. Okay, in the coupling mechanism, a capacitance is used from collector to base on either sides. So, if you take the voltage at the point of base of any transistor it is which is directly connected to capacitor so the changes across the capacitor will appear across the base so that's why here we have taken like vb1 first transistor's base voltage vp2 second transistor base voltage so when the transistor q1 is in on state and q2 is in off state vb is sat for the on transistor and what about the Second transistor, second transistor as it is in off state, it is having a current uh, capacitance. That means capacitance is charging the, through the on transistor. Those variations are appeared here and whenever V gamma reaches, the states are altered. This is what we have come across in the last class. Now, so using the circuit diagram and the, the previous graphs, so for the signal 0 less than per, 0 less than T less than capital T1 Q1 is in off state we have assumed a condition present condition Q1 is in off state and Q2 is in on state so from the base waveform shown here the voltage of the voltage at the base 
of q1 is vb1 is equal to already we know the formula v final minus v final minus v initial into e power minus t by rc in the previous video i told you what is the initial value initial value is different initial value is different and final value is different final value may vary but initial value will not vary because the capacitor is charging and discharging up to the levels whatever the levels we have discussed in the previous class the same levels here also we have between vc is at vb is at and the c here a down of i1 rc or i2 rc suppose if you are taking this condition q1 is an on state and q2 is an off state then see here it produces vb is at and exactly at this particular point like t1 at this particular t1 instant it provides a v gamma to q2 transistor so q2 comes into on state and q1 comes into off state okay uh, again the states are altered and the process is continued like this so the what is the initial value initial value is initially it was there like vb is at down to down to i2 rc see i2 rc is shown here this is the waveform this is the value so previously ib sat so ib sat minus sorry vb sat minus i2 rc this is the level up to here so which is uh, what is the final value then what is the final value final value that means capacitor has to charge up to vcc in the previous case but now capacitors capacitor has to charge up to v only okay so vb1 is equal to v final is v v final minus v final minus v initial v initial is what is the initial value vb is sat minus i2 rc that is equal to v minus v minus vb is sat already we know what is i2 rc that is minus of vcc minus vb vc sat into e power minus t by t1 because we are uh, studying in this particular duration 0 to t1 so that is equal to hmm, now let us substitute at t is equal to t1 what happens vb1 is equal to v gamma then v gamma is equal to v minus v plus vcc minus vb sat plus vc is at e power minus t by t1 uh, at t equal to t1 i am studying about so at t equal to t1 and this one is tau tau 1 so now just manipulate this to calculate t1 e power t1 by tau 1 is equal to v plus vcc minus vb is at vb is at one minute uh, vb is at plus vc is at divided by v minus v gamma see compare the previous expressions and these expressions okay almost everything is similar except that v becomes vcc here previously it was vcc alone here and here it was only vcc but now vcc has been added with v here and here it is v so so neglecting junction voltages or we can say vcc it becomes v gamma so v gamma and everything becomes neglected then it is e power t1 by tau 1 is equal to b plus vcc by v neglecting 
जंक्शन वोल्टेजेस नेग्लेक्टिंग जंक्शन वोल्टेजेस सो टी वन इज इक्वल टू टू वन इंटू एल एन ऑफ वन प्लस वी सी सी बै वि जस्ट इफ यू सेपरेट दिस वन प्लस वि सी बै वि See if VCC is equal to V. See here in the same circuit diagram. If I connect this V, nothing but these two resistors to VCC, what it means? VCC and V both are same. Okay. So if you have that VCC and V both are same, then it resembles the previous equation. Like one plus it becomes one. So one plus one is nothing but two. So it is also like tau one into Ln2 0.693 tau1 which is nothing but R1 into C1. Okay, but now the as these two are different, we have taken directly like R1 C1 natural logarithm of 1 plus VCC by V. Keep it as it is because we are not making the VCC and V equal. So similarly. On the other hand, we will be having the T2 also for transistor T2. For transistor Q2, T2 is equal to R2 C2 ln of 1 plus VCC by V. Therefore, overall time period t is equal to t1 plus t2 which is equal to r1 c1 ln of uh, 1 plus vcc by v plus r2 c2 ln of 1 plus vcc by v that is equal to if you make this r1 and r2 equal as r and c1 and c2 as c then if you take this common r c plus rc into ln of 1 plus vcc by v then it becomes 2 times of rc ln of 1 plus vcc by v that is equal to overall time period t okay so therefore, the frequency of oscillations of this stable multivibrator, so frequency f is equal to which is 1 by t, that is equal to 1 by 2 rc ln of 1 plus vcc by v. See how it is related to frequency is inversely proportional to this applied voltage. See here, this is the applied voltage. This is the applied voltage which is used to change the frequency of oscillations. Okay, so that means this equation shows by varying the voltage V, the frequency can be varied and hence this circuit acts as a voltage to frequency converter. Voltage to frequency converter, this voltage to frequency converter. If you change this voltage, frequency also changes. Okay, so this is about a stable multivibrator as a voltage to frequency converter. But monostable multivibrator, we consider it as voltage to time converter. Okay, remember the difference. Monostable multivibrator is a gating circuit which is used to convert time. But here, a stable multivibrator, we are always talking about frequency, voltage to frequency conversion. Okay, thank you.